Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. Today we have in here a very requested game on the channel, it is Mountain Boy 2 Bannerboard. This game it is still on early access, which means that it is not finished. Uh, the developers behind the game, uh, they said that they are going to take a more or less one year to finish what they want to accomplish more with the game and that in one year we will have the final game. But first of all, let's just check the performance and how it runs on our MX-130, which for the most stubborn people that still don't understand, the NVIDIA MX-130 it is the exactly same card as the GT-940 MX. But keep in mind that what I have in here it is the 2GB version with GDDR5. So if you have the GT940 MX with GDDR5, you will have an equivalent performance. If you have the DDR3 version, your performance will be worse, whatever if you have the 2GB version or the 4. So this is the settings that I do recommend you to go for now with the game. So I'm playing at low settings, 720p, and battle size set to 500, because if you set more than this, then, well, your CPU should be will struggle. If you want to raise textures or texture streaming, there is no issues whatsoever, but for the test sake, I'm just going to use the presets anyway. So let's take a look on the, on the requirements. These guys ask for an E3 CPU, alright, nothing new in here, 6 gigs of RAM, which I do disagree, I think, I believe you should have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM to run this game, and they also suggest you to have a GTX 1660, so I would say that our graphic card, it is more weaker than those specified in there, but none of the rest, I decided to take the test, and I have tested on a 500 NPC battle, not the first one that you have seen, that one is very demanding, but the more regular plain, um, you know, environment, which is expectable to be where you will have most of your fights on the game, and the performance was... Pretty much an average of 41 frames per second, which is pretty good, but unfortunately the 1% low, the minimums that you will get are very low, with around 22 frames per second. This happens when you are close to a lot of NPCs, and you will start to get uh, lower frame rates. But if you feel that it is too low for you, you can reduce the graphical settings to very low, and by doing that, you can enjoy a 1% low of 41 frames per second and an average of 59. Testing on the village, which is not on a fight environment or a battle environment, the performance it is so much better. So with the very low settings, what I get, it is an average of 70 frames per second with a 1% low of 59. So it's pretty much almost locked 60 frames per second. But if you go with the low settings, the settings that I'm going to use on this video, or that I'm using on this video, what I get is an average of 56 with a 1% low of 48. So the battles are, without a doubt, the most demanding thing on the game. And this is what this game it is about, alright? It's about the massive battles with a ton of NPCs on screen. So if you want to get this game, this game it is available for $44.90. I think it's a little bit a steep price if you ask me for an early access game. But I don't judge them because there, there is a lot of people wanting this game. And so I believe they step, they step up the price a little bit because they know that people really want this game. And the fact that it is in, on early access, a lot of people are complaining about bugs. I think this is completely normal since there is work to be done. But according to the developer team, they are going to mess around this year with the multiplayer of the game, this will be quite interesting. And there are villages and uh, voice actors that they want to put on the RPG elements of the game. So it seems rather interesting. I'm not really sure what will be the full price of the game, but I'm actually expecting this game to be launched at the full price. I was expecting this game to be a little bit more cheaper, to, to be honest, but still, it is a great game, although there are some complaints of, for, of the people, I mean. People are saying that this Mountain Boy 2 banner vault, for now, it seems very, very close to what it was the Mountain Boy 1. I have the Mountain Boy 1, honestly, I haven't played that much, uh, because I had other games always to play, and I never gave it, gave it too much attention to it, despite I have it on my account. But I remember playing a little bit the game, and for me it actually feels the same, of course, aside from its graphic technology. The graphics, despite on the wall settings, looks pretty bad. I feel that everything feels much better 
than the first game, but still it feels more or less the same game. It feels like a Mountain Blade one, but with a revamped graphics engine and technology behind it. So I'm really expecting these guys to revamp the game with one year, year with this one year of early access and to transform the game with something different, but still that still feels Mountain Blade. All right, so guys. Tell me what you think about the game and about the performance. If you have any question about it, just leave on the comment section of the video. Thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.